Hello, uh, lots of my channel. Welcome to today's uh, video. Um, in today's video, we will uh, see uh, about uh, irrigation suitability map. So. Uh, as uh, introduction, uh, I hope uh, this t tutorial covers or has around two or three uh, videos, and I am recommend all of you to uh, see those series uh, videos, and it is about surface irrigation suitability uh, mapping using uh, ArcGIS game pointery and that of analytical hierarchy or HP techniques and uh, basically uh, to select uh, based uh, irrigable areas uh, uh, that means um, uh, the surface irrigation areas should uh, conduct uh, some uh, uh, assessment techniques and uh, uh, basically this uh, regression and stability uh, mapping uh, or we can select an irrigable area depending on different uh, factors so the first factor uh, or uh, maybe a slope uh, for instance if you have uh, a gentle slope and uh, a steep slope those uh, two slopes does not have uh, the same uh, suitability for surface irrigation uh, and also, also that of soil depths uh, this uh, basically this slope means if uh <coughs> sorry if uh, the slope of an area is uh, flat that means it has the capacity uh, that the uh, rainfall uh, in that or the water that we deliver to the irrigation area can infiltrate but if the area is very uh, steep uh, uh, that area does not uh, get sufficient water that means the infiltration in that area is uh, slow so uh, uh, when we compare to that of the flat area this uh, steep slope areas are not uh, suitable for surface irrigation in the other parameter is that is soil depth uh, soil depth this uh, soil depth uh, for instance if uh, the soil depth has uh, high that means this um, soil has um, a suitability for surface irrigation because those soils has um, take or uh, 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 has different nutrients in the soil layer and also uh, the soil uh, can hold uh, water for large uh, time so those types of uh, uh, soil depths are uh, suitable rather than that of low depth uh, soils and the other is soil drainage you know that um, in the soil drainage indicators for instance if you have the drainage patterns uh, in the soil is uh, low there is uh, there may happen uh, like that of water logging yeah? and uh, this water logging may affect uh, the co-productivity uh, uh, in the area so uh, soil drainage is also the other factor soil type soil type means uh, like uh, soil texture and uh, like that uh, there are different types of soils so those different types of soils um, has um, uh, its own uh, productivity productivity so depending on the those soil types the stability uh, also varies yeah uh, the other is land is land cover uh, this land is land cover also affects the productivity of uh, crops 
yeah land is land cover and the other is distance to road for instance if you have producing a crop uh, from uh, a field this crop uh, uh, should have an access uh, for a market yeah for a market so if there is a road uh, the suitability of uh, our irrigation area has increased and it is uh, also the other factor and uh, the, uh, the other is distance to rivers basically when we are irrigating um, an area we will uh, use rivers uh, or other artificial uh, ponds or reservoirs and um, if those rivers are uh, uh, near to our command area so uh, the stability of our field uh, or uh, our uh, command area increases uh, and um, if the distance of river from the command area is uh, 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 very uh, long uh, it uh, requires a lot of money to construct canals or other uh, infrastructures therefore uh, it is also another parameter and the other is soil stoniness um, it means that if there is a stone around uh, in the um, uh, inside the, the soil so this reduces uh, the productivity of uh, our uh, crops basically it uh, it reduces our uh, area uh, our area so uh, this is another factor we, uh, there, are, there are a number of factors yeah we can include the chemical uh, properties of soils to examine or to prepare uh, surface irrigation stability map so for uh, this tutorial we will use those uh, parameters those parameters um, to uh, uh, map irrigation stability on uh, Oga watershed so uh, here, here is uh, it is on Koga watershed basically uh, on Koga watershed yeah Koga watershed it is found in Ethiopia basically in upper uh, Bay Basin I mean in Tana Basin <coughs> okay so to start uh, with uh, the first uh, software that we will use is that is uh, ArcGIS 10.3 and uh, analytical hierarchy process this uh, ArcGIS uh, 10.3 helps us to delineate our watershed as well as to um, uh, prepare our soil map uh, slope map yes uh, land is land cover maps and so on while this analytical hierarchy uh, process helps us to um, uh, know the uh, percentages of each parameter yeah percentages of uh, each parameter so we will uh, see each by uh, each thing is uh, step by step and uh, the first thing the first thing uh, that you should uh, know is uh, the shape file of your study area the shape files of your study area this Koga watershed so we should have to delineate uh, your watershed okay you should delineate it your watershed and you should have your own shape file after that you can uh, uh, go through your uh, process so in this tutorial we will see how to delineate uh, your watershed and after that uh, we may uh, if you have uh, uh, some uh, more time we'll see additional things okay so let us start uh, by delineating out our, our watershed uh, to delineate uh, the watershed you should open uh, a new arc map in such a way and you should have your own uh, digital vision model as well as the uh, outlets of uh, your watershed so I have uh, prepared uh, the data here and uh, by clicking on add uh, data let us uh, add uh, our watershed 
and here is the uh, outlets of uh, Koga watershed here it says outlets of Koga you know that how to prepare uh, an outlet yeah an outlet uh, if I ha if I have show this in, um, in this case in such a way this is outlets of Koga and um, let us see it uh, how it looks like uh, uh, and uh, the forest data you should add is that is a dm uh, dm uh, these are my dm and uh, this is 30.5 dm add it to your uh, arc map is a uh, dm and um, here is the uh, outlets of the watershed uh, i hope it is not the right let us uh, add and uh, visualize our data our outlet here and um, sorry and here is uh, also let us add this one and uh, i will show you uh, this is uh, uh, if you open this one yes yeah uh, we have uh, this one it has its own uh, x as well as y yeah x as well as y therefore uh, you should uh, prepare your data as uh, uh, x that is in the uh, latitude and y and longitude in such a way yes under excel uh, it should be uh, in csv format after you are adding uh, on gis right click on uh, it and uh, say click on display xy data here under uh, x field select this x that is the latitude and under y that is the longitude here y then uh, if this uh, a projection system is not uh, edited you should adjust in such a way and then click on ok so you see that this is the uh, outlets of uh, koga watershed uh, after that uh, you should display this one yeah right click on this then data export data it should be in the in shape uh, file format so you should export uh, it uh, and and I uh, have uh, let us create uh, one folder working folder on the desktop here right click and uh, we have uh, irrigation stability irrigation suitability mapping yeah and this folder is uh, uh, what we have used we will use this folder for uh, this tutorial and right click on this data export the data here and go to uh, desktop irrigation stability uh, uh, then click here and um, this one is Koga outlet okay Koga outlet and uh, yeah our save as type should be as a shape file and then save it okay and it says uh, um, it asks us to display on the table of content and say yes so we have uh, this uh, outlet shape file and also the digital elevation model here and uh, this is unnecessary so you can remove from the table of content now we can uh, start our delineation yeah we can uh, start uh, our delineation but uh, uh, to start uh, to uh, reduce the time of uh, consumption during uh, flow direction and flow accumulation you should have to um, uh, reduce or uh, 
only uh, uh, extract your own uh, DM that uh, only covers your watershed so if you see this one this is the uh, outlets of Koga uh, watershed sorry sorry that um, wait a minute yes so this is a uh, uh, outlet this outlet should uh, tell us uh, the outlets of Koga watershed sorry okay so uh, if you see this uh, table of content this is a black color indicators uh, the lower elevation while this is a white color or indicators as uh, the larger elevation areas that has high elevation okay so uh, you should know that this round this uh, area is a uh, watershed now to uh, to save our time we should uh, uh, take small area uh, for our purpose so under this draw under this draw go to this one yes if this draw draw is not act activated uh, right click on uh, this part at the top of the ArcGIS and uh, you can activate and deactivate this draw yeah so under this you select the rectangular one or the other shape that you you want and this is the outlet so the flow is from this one uh, uh, to this one so uh, in such a way we can select or take your uh, own dm i hope uh, this area uh, covers Koga watershed so you can uh, select in such a way and go to this Amahara DM and uh, say that data export data here and um, where uh, it has its own location that I have already given before and uh, here which is Koga DM Koga uh, DM and uh, the format should be empty fair yeah? you should uh, say in such a way and say uh, save yeah uh, would you like to add the export data to the map as a layer yes i need it yeah this is a koga dm and uh, click on this part and say click uh, on delete yes so uh, if you uh, and uh, and check this Amara DM. You have uh, a DM for Koga uh, watershed only. Therefore, uh, you can remove this part and you can work with uh, this extracted uh, or the uh, DM what we uh, prepared. Therefore, uh, to delineate our watershed, we need this Koga uh, outlet. We have this Koga outlet. Now, let us um, start our delineation. Uh, so, uh, to delineate our watershed, we should open this arc map under the top. Yeah, if uh, this one is the arc toolbox, go to the spatial analysis tool and um, then hydrology and you should uh, uh, fill uh, this dm because there are uh, some depressions depressed areas to uh, depressed uh, to fill those depressed areas you should fill your dm okay so uh, the first step here is fill the dm uh, double click here uh, under the input surface uh, select the koga dm and uh, i have uh, created a folder under desktop and select 
that one here uh, it is not the right way uh, sorry here and uh, this one is fill okay fill save then okay yes this one is uh, the fill yeah uh, and uh, after you are uh, filling you should do flow direction uh, under this surface uh, input surface raster here is a uh, fill select the fill and this one is um, flow direction flow direction yeah here and uh, okay after that you should do uh, flow accumulation this flow direction indicates from where uh, to where the water is flowing it indicates the directions of uh, uh, the water and the flow accumulation the third step is that is flow uh, accumulation you have a uh, do flow direction in such a way and uh, here is flow accumulation and the input is flow direction here select the flow direction here is uh, flow accumulation say f accumulation accum save and this output uh, type as a float in such a way then okay okay it may take uh, some minutes so let us uh, wait it and uh, after we have uh, uh, created this uh, flow accumulation we can uh, see that rivers uh, rivers that has um, that have uh, flow accumulation or uh, you see that you see this is a uh, flow accumulation but uh, those are the rivers those are the rivers if you have zoom in and see in such a way those are the uh, rivers but those are not uh, visible and we can uh, make uh, it as visible in such a way so to do that uh, let us go to um, this raster map algebra raster calculator and uh, say flow accumulation greater than uh, 2000 let us say it means that i would like to show rivers that has uh, a flow greater than 2000 yes and um, here here uh, i am saying that uh, uh, flow accum uh, 2000 that means greater than 2000 is uh, my name that I would like to give and say save okay uh, after that uh, you can say okay you see those are rivers that uh, has a flow accumulation greater than 2000 we can reduce uh, those things if uh, it is so uh, uh, difficult to manage anyways for our purpose let us uh, use it as it is uh, and if you have we have uh, such uh, such uh, let us make it as uh, blue color since it is a water in such a way now we have uh, the outlet here we know that uh, so, uh, no one can uh, take uh, outlets of a river inside uh, the water rather it takes uh, out, out of the gorge or uh, near to the river 
that's why this outlet is uh, not touching the water so you should uh, adjust or uh, modify this uh, outlet so to make it uh, go to edit uh, start edit uh, i would like to edit the cog outlet in cog outlet here okay and let us select this one uh, and uh, parallel you can take as as uh, this part and go to edit here save edit and say uh, stop edit so i have i have um, uh, adjusted the outlet it is uh, before it is out of uh, this one now it uh, is on the uh, traits of the river and uh, if you have uh, do this uh, go back to hydrology here and uh, say snap point the snap point is that is called outlet here and uh, here is uh, let us uh, say fid and here uh, select the flow accumulation and this one is uh, snap point snap os snap uh, snap or let us say in such a way and save it okay uh, it has uh, its own snap distance such a way and let us accept it and say okay and uh, if after it finishes you see the uh, sale of this uh, the outlet uh, is placed is changed so this is uh, the snap point and the final step here is uh, donating the watershed go to this watershed under this uh, the first is select the flow direction here flow direction and this is the snap point snap o here here is the value and the final is uh, watershed watershed and let us save it save okay so uh, we have uh, finished uh, the delineation part if you have zoom uh, to uh, extend you know this is a uh, shape files of koga watershed so to get a shape file here to get a shape file here this is the watershed of koga so um, our main uh, objective is to get the shape file because uh, this uh, using this shape file we should uh, may clip or um, um, mask our land is land cover as well as um, out of the soil texture uh, soil drainage soil depths and so on yeah so it is very important yeah so uh, since this uh, uh, you should convert this watershed into a shape file or polygon so go to this uh, conversion tool and uh, from raster from raster to polygon yeah to polygon and what we want to convert is that is the watershed yes and here we can uh, use that value and this one is um, uh, here is koga shape okay koga watershed and uh, we can say save and then okay i hope we have a shape file here we can check that that review table here uh, i don't know why here is some mistakes uh, it includes anyways we can eliminate this part and in such a way we can uh, delineate our watershed okay we can delineate uh, our watershed so uh, uh, i hope it is very simple and uh, it is the first parts of um, uh, this irrigation stability mapping and uh, 
and if you have uh, this shape file if we have uh, this sh shape file and now we can uh, uh, prepare our uh, slope map okay let us uh, go yeah click Olga watershed and then the let us reset start or anyways no problem let us use as it is we can uncheck those parts and this is our Koga watershed and um, uh, from this Koga watershed we are from this one this is the uh, Koga DM Koga uh, DM and uh, okay so uh, if you have this uh, shape file shape file of uh, koga watershed uh, we can uh, start uh, with that of the slope the first parameter we have uh, we will use, use those parameters first one is the slope so um, i hope uh, it's better to show something here Basically, we will uh, classify into four uh, groups. Uh, uh, so the first class is that is highly cl uh, suitable class, highly suitable class, and the other is uh, moderately suitable, marginally suitable, and uh, that of uh, unsuitable classes. So for a moderate, a moderate, uh, um, uh, sorry, sorry, highly suitable class we will give a value of uh, 4 and for uh, uh, moderately suitable we will give uh, a suitability score of uh, 3 and for uh, 2 uh, for that of marginal suitable and 1 for unsuitable classes so uh, we, uh, we will uh, see uh, this uh, one by one and uh, to start we should uh, since this is uh, uh, this dm is a raster we should extract uh, or we should mask uh, the what the dm of under watershed i mean sorry uh, that of the Olga watershed and um, to do that go to spatial analysis here extract mm, extract by mask and from uh, Koga DM, uh, we would like to extract uh, Koga watershed. And uh, here is uh, uh, specifically Koga, uh, Koga DM. Okay. Koga DM uh, only. Koga DM only. Say save. And uh, when you are extracting, uh, you should uh, uh, check the environment that the process ex the processing extent should be like Olga watershed. Yes, then okay, okay. So we may have uh, this Olga uh, DM, and if you have one check, this one and this one. This is a DM of Koga, only Koga. Uh, let us zoom it and see the Koga watershed. We see that this is the minimum elevation, and this one is the maximum elevation in the area. Maximum elevation. This uh, like uh, blue, uh, black color indicates the lower elevation, while this uh, some now uh, somehow high or white color uh, indicates this around this area indicates the higher elevation in the watershed so uh, to prepare a slope map from this dm go to spatial analysis tool and there is um, a surface here and click on slope here double click and here is the uh, koga dm only we will uh, insert this one and uh, here is a uh, uh, you should uh, say that this is uh, slope yeah 
physical uh, uh, slope and uh, uh, say save and this is the percent rise yeah you should uh, say that is the percent rise and uh, let us uh, use as this as uh, for the z factor and uh, say okay okay yeah this is a, a slope map a slope map of um, slope map of uh, Koga water shirt. Now you should reclassify this slope map. You should reclassify this uh, slope map because the stability for surface irrigation as um, FAO 1990 as FAO 1990 is that the slope from 0 uh, up to 2 percent is highly suitable and from 2 up to 5 is that is uh, moderately suitable from 5 to 8 is a uh, marginally suitable and if the slope is greater than 8 percent uh, uh, that area is not suitable for surface irrigation so based on this uh, let us reclassify this map uh, to reclassify this Koga slope go to our uh, uh, toolbox and uh, reclass here uh, on spatial analysis tool it is a reclass reclassify it says Therefore, you should uh, 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 insert here Koga slope, Koga slope under this uh, uh, axis, and it uh, is generally come in such a way that uh, click on classify. I would like to classify into four, yeah, into four classes, and on this part, say natural break. It should be natural break and uh, the first is that is uh, zero up to two and the other is um, up to five uh, that means two up to five the other is five to eight and uh, this is uh, greater than eight yes greater than uh, eight yeah so we have in such a way saying click ok we have such classes but now on this new value on this new value this is the slope this is the slope zero up to two indicates highly suitable areas so it has a high value the score is four for uh, that means uh, when i give four it indicates this area is suitable highly suitable if i give uh, 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 the value as three or the score as three it is moderately suitable and if I give uh, uh, the score as uh, 2 it is uh, marginally suitable and if I give 1 that area is uh, unsuitable okay so this is uh, uh, now go to this one is the slopery class the slope sorry the slope uh, re class and uh, click on save yeah i have uh, uh, one map here saying okay you see this is a slope reclass map slope reclass map a slope reclass map and let's go top under that uh, there is irrigation stability let us save uh, on it you see, I have already prepared the slope uh, suitability map. These four indicators, these four indicators, this area, this area indicates it is highly suitable area, highly suitable. That means the slope is from zero up to uh, uh, zero to two. Uh, if you open this one, you can uh, get the area, yeah, the area, how much uh, uh, area or hectare or kilometer scales of uh, from the total area is highly suitable which indicates uh, four and also um, three means that is marginally uh, suitable uh, moderately suitable it is moderately stable marginally stable and one is unsuitable yeah so uh, in such a way we can reclassify our slope map and uh, I hope uh, uh, for 
to die it is uh, enough uh, and uh, for the next video I will come uh, back uh, with that of um, uh, okay let us uh, do one more for uh, today okay and uh, we will uh, uh, stop uh, today's uh, uh, tutorial okay uh, the other parameter that uh, we will uh, use is that of uh, soil depth the soil depth and similarly uh, showing 90 90 uh, recommend is that if the soil depth is greater than uh, 100 uh, that uh, area is highly suitable for surface irrigation and if uh, the soil depth is from uh, 50 to 100 millimeter and that is moderately suitable in such a way uh, the um, suitability of the soil depth is um, arrange it and uh, depending on this let us uh, prepare our uh, soil uh, soil depth suitability map and let us add uh, uh, the soil depth map here okay so here is uh, the data and soil classification i hope and here is the soil depth yeah add the soil depth here okay uh, uh, before that this soil depth should be this uh, depth is you can check the property if it is uh, uh, raster i hope this is a shape file yeah so you should clip uh, uh, your own a soil depth map from the total map so uh, go to uh, this arco toolbox analysis tool extract and then clip okay so from the divs from the divs uh, i would like to clip koga watershed here and let us uh, here is uh, uh, soil divs S divs okay soil divs uh, let us say soil divs soil divs okay save and uh, say uh, okay we have a clip our uh, area uh, soil divs for koga and let us uh, uncheck this one or oh, you can remove after you have uh, clipping your uh, on so mm, uh, here open your requisite and you can say you can see the soil divs here the soil divs uh, and we can observe that we can observe uh, that uh, right click here property and uh, go to symbology here categorize by uh, uh, devs or we can say that add here and you can observe that here in such a way yeah here 0 up to 2500 up to in such a way so we can uh, we have uh, in such a way therefore therefore um, uh, before you have reclassifying it since it is a shape file this uh, is a shape file we should convert this soil depth to raster okay so uh, go to this conversion tool and to raster yeah to raster uh, polygon to raster it is a polygon and it's, uh, you should convert to raster because uh, to reclassify uh, 
the uh, map should be in raster format so uh, uh, i should convert to raster so l divs here fid here is this uh, divs class okay select the divs class when we are uh, uh, converting to raster and here is uh, it is divs raster yeah divs uh, raster here is ras raster divs raster uh, let us uh, say in such a way and uh, here is uh, you can uh, 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 take as this but please take care of here is this the seal size should be that of similar with uh, digital elevation model the digital elevation model if you see the digital elevation model here in uh, the digital elevation model sorry the digital elevation model has a cell size uh, of uh, 30.5 so this uh, uh, this this soil divs as well as other parameters should have similar with that of uh, the uh, digital elevation model so we should uh, make that this cell size should be similar to with that of the digital elevation model so uh, go to this property and copy this part this is the for, uh, one of the to copy this one and go to here and select this one sorry uh, this one's then paste here you see we should adjust the seal size uh, um, of this uh, soil divs map to that of similar to that of uh, the digital vision model then click on ok uh, now we have a uh, Dave's raster map it is a uh, uh, Dave's raster map now we can reclassify this soil uh, Dave's uh, if you have uh, a raster format so go to to reclassify similarly go to this partial analysis tool then reclass reclassify here is a uh, Dave's raster, our input is Dave's raster, and uh, class field is at the, the, the Dave's class here. And uh, here, if uh, this one is not arranged in such a way, go to unique, unique, uh, okay, sorry we have um, made some mistake here before that i think uh, here the uh, soil divs here we should right click go to property symbology and uh, unique value here Uh, we have uh, this map okay therefore uh, go to this reclassify and uh, add your own input raster select the div raster here uh, and reclass field is that's the div soil divs and we have seen that if the soil divs is greater than 100 give a, a value as uh, four here for uh, for instance this this one is uh, this value this uh, range gets a score of four as well as this gets a score of four while this zero up to 25 zero up to 25 is um, uh, has a score of one has a score of one here so give one and uh, this uh, uh, 50 up to uh, 100 is uh, uh, 
that is uh, marginal is moderate receivable so give a uh, 3 and 25 out of 50 is that is rank 2 yeah therefore this is um, uh, this one is uh, devs 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 uh, reclass reclass okay save save so we have prepared and uh, saved uh, this devs reclass uh, map you g you see that here this is uh, devs reclass map 0 up to 25 means this one this area uh, 25 up to 50 means this one basically this is um, this this color is unsuitable this one is um, uh yeah, suitable basically it is uh, uh, uh ma more marginal suitable this uh, 50 up to 100 is uh, ma uh that of moderately suitable and this one is highly suitable yeah this one is highly suitable based on soil depth and you can uh, adjust it as you can adjust it as uh, uh, based on value i would like to put as based on value in such a way therefore i have prepared two maps to reclassified maps there is reclassed map and the slope uh, uh, this slope reclassified maps and for today it is enough um, yeah, i will come with uh, another tutorial uh, for this and we will uh, uh, prepare irrigation stability map on this as area and uh, I like to say uh, subscribe and share to your friends and put your comments uh, uh, under uh, the comment uh, part Thank you for uh, your watching. Bye.